Hi, these are my rudder pedals. There are no others like them because these ones are mine. I've made them myself entirely from scratch and I'm very proud of them. In this video I will be showcasing them as well as giving a detailed look at how I made them. Let's get started. They feature a pendular design, a full metal construction, all sensor input and fully working toe brakes. The pedals are insanely sturdy, smooth and comfortable. They also weigh over 20 kilograms and have a rubberized base, so these aren't sliding around. Throughout the video I will be referencing some CAD drawings and 3D models that I used. I will also be sharing these as well as a full scale model of the pedals made in Fusion 360 for free to anyone who might find them useful. Links to everything can be found in the description. Before we start, I understand that to make these, you would need a lot of specialized tools, material and time. I don't expect many people to try and recreate them one to one, but I hope this video and the files I provide could at least give you some reference, inspiration and ideas if you're planning to have a good making your own. We'll start off with the main base. The main base is quite simple. I made the main frame out of 10mm steel and the base from 3mm steel. The parts are CNC cut and welded together. Anything you see on the finished pedals that is not there on the CAD drawings I provide was done on the spot after the parts were test fitted. Through the holes on the sides I ran a 10mm threaded rod that serves as the axle for the swinging arms. The axle itself doesn't rotate as each of the arms use a set of ball bearings that allow them to rotate individually. The swinging arms are made from 10mm aluminium sheet and I had to weld two identical pieces together to get the desired thickness of 20mm. An additional ring is welded at the bottom to give more room inside for the brake sensors. In here I used 3010 ball bearings and since the combined width of the bearings is less than that of the swinging arm, I placed a washer between them so that I could clamp them together. I hand cut a groove on the back so that these M6 ball joint links could be fit. The centering mechanism sits in the back and here's how it works. The rotating part in the center, which I'll call the T, rotates with an axle that goes through a ball bearing in the back of the main plate. It is connected to the swinging arms with the ball joint links, so when the pedals are pushed, it rotates and pushes one of these surrounding parts outwards. Once you let go, the spring on the bottom will contract, centering the mechanism. Each of the parts surrounding the T can only be pushed in one direction due to the stoppers at the bottom. Alright, let's break everything down. The T is made similar to the swinging arms by welding two 10mm aluminium plates. The parts surrounding it are cut out of 2mm steel and with a few bends end up shaped like this. Both of these have a hole on the side through which a screw is placed. The screws are adjusted so that the parts are always connected. Everything is then placed on the axle. The T part is bolted so that it moves with the axle while the surrounding parts can rotate freely. As the entire mechanism is leveraging on a single bearing, there was a slight wobble initially. The Z-shaped part on the top got rid of the wobble completely. 
I made it out of 6mm steel, bent into shape and screwed it in the back plate. Now onto the foot pedals. These were made out of 4mm CNC cut steel pieces as well as some tubing. The middle plate is bent in two spots in order to conform to the shape and all pieces were then arranged into this order and welded together. Each pedal has two additional holes on the inner side, one for the springs and the other for the stopper. The pedals are mounted on a 10mm threaded rod that goes through a 2210 ball bearing inside the swinging arm. This piece is used to limit the motion of the toe brakes. It's cut out of 2mm stainless and screwed into the swinging arm. I cut out slits here instead of holes into it so that the angle of the pedal can be adjusted. The sensors. Each of the three axes on these rudder pedals uses a Hall effect sensor to register movement, and I used an Arduino Micro as the controller. Only Arduino Micro and Leonardo can be used for this as they are the only two which are compatible with the Arduino joystick library. The way these sensors work is by registering a change in the magnetic field around them. I'll leave a link in the description to a website that explains this in more detail. But basically, we just need a north to south magnetic field that rotates around the sensor. These are the exact ones I used, but that's only because they were the easiest to get locally. We'll start off with the toe brakes. As this axle runs through a bearing inside the arm, it has to be tightened with a bolt on each side. That leaves us with the inside looking like this. I designed this 3D printed part so that it sits firmly on top of this bolt and this other part houses the hall sensor. I use jumper cables to wire everything up. Two magnets are glued to each end of the first piece and face each other with opposite poles. As the pedal is pressed down, the magnets revolve around the sensor giving us the input we need. For the main axis, I've designed this box that houses all of the electronics inside. The hall sensor sits in the middle and protrudes out. This is the piece I designed for the main axis. It screws onto the same axle that runs through the centering mechanism at the back. So whenever it rotates, it also revolves the magnets around the hall sensor. You can see the layout of everything inside the box. The box itself is just glued to the inside of the main frame with some silicon glue. As soon as the Arduino Micro is plugged in, it is automatically recognized as a USB controller. This is the code I wrote for it. It's basic, but it gets the job done. Link to the code will be in the description. Everything is then calibrated through the default Windows game controller calibration software. 
I got a resolution of around 500 values for the main axis and around 150 for the toe brakes. After the Arduino is coded, the pedals are pretty much plug and play and can be used with any software that supports axis controls. These pedals are my babies. I've spent over two months making them and I poured extraordinary love and care into them. They are currently the peak of my DIY design, crafting and resourcefulness. I hope you enjoyed watching me make them. Stay safe and I'll see you in the skies.